Okay, YouTube. As you can see from the title, today I'm going to be showing you a Blender Game Engine tutorial. Today we're going to be making a Labyrinth game. So, like, if anybody has a Microsoft Plus or some sort of iPod app that I haven't gotten yet, um, you should know what Labyrinth is. It's pretty much a maze where you tilt, the, where the maze tilts and the ball rolls through it and you got to get it to the end. Okay, so to make this game, first thing you want to do is open the folder where you keep all your Blender stuff. If you don't have one of those, make one. You want to name your folder Labyrinth. I know I'm pretty sure I got that wrong, but oh well. Um, next thing you want to do, go into Blender, go ahead and just save it as you want to just save it. P. Save this as resources. Dot blend. Save as, and then you should be good. So if we have this, oh, and one quick thing: I'm not at my house, so I'm on. I'm like kind of on a miniature vacation. So um, I have to go to the view thing in order to go to because I didn't bring my keyboard. Anyway. Huh, peace. What? Um, okay. So, there's something wrong here. Could you just let me quit out of it real quick? And open it back up. Open recent. Okay, resources. Okay, so we've got all our basic stuff. I'm gonna go to view. Top. And we have our top view. What you wanna do when it hits S, Z, um, X. And scale it up to there. You want to do the same thing, but S Y can um, scale it. S Whoa, I didn't want to do that. S Y. Yes. Why? And I'm working on my laptop display, so it's not quite as easy. S Y. Hmm, something wrong here. Let's go in. Five. That works. Okay, so now that we have that, we want to go ahead and we want to name this. I want to bring up the that menu by pressing in, and go ahead and name it board. Go ahead and toss that out. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to hit tab, go to the face select, and you want to hit W subdivide multi, and you want to change the number of cuts to four. Okay, control, control Z, W subdivide multi, change the number of cuts to six. No, still not quite. Still not quite enough. So we want to try ten. You always want to do it by an even number, or else it doesn't come out right. W. 
Oh, well, so I ate. Okay, that's perfect. So we can tab out of edit mode. Um, so we've got this thing right here. And so now that we've got that, let me reposition here real quick. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can, oh, let me check the time. I'm not holding that anyway. So now that we've got that, um, we go want to go ahead and save it. We want to go to the materials tab, and we're going to want to hit color, change it to kind of a woody kind of color. Ah. Or you can change it to a nice kind of a blue color. Bump the alpha down a little bit, make kind of like a glass labyrinth. Okay, let's see how that looks in the game engine. Never mind. Let's just leave it back up at max. Um, change it to like back to a kind of a brown color. So next part you want to do is we're, we're now we're gonna make it move whenever you press the keys. So I'm gonna hit, hit add here four times. One, two, three, four on here. One, one, two, three, four on here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to change where it says always to keyboard and b press this as f up arrow. Just go ahead and name, go ahead and just name this. UA is for up arrow. Minimize it. Change this to keyboard. Name this BA for back arrow. Select it for the back arrow. Go to keyboard. Um, you want to name this LA for left arrow. You don't have to name it, it just makes it much easier. Then go ahead and change this keyboard, name it RA. And for right arrow, and hit right arrow. Okay, so the next step is, is you want to connect each one of these to the corresponding and things. You can go ahead and minimize these. Then we connect the first one to this first simple motion thing. And, oh, and the first thing you want to do first, actually, is you want to take your camera, delete it. Oh, no, I don't have to delete key in here. Um, go ahead and add a camera. And go to view. Camera, we can change it to like fifteen. Okay, change it to sixteen. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can go ahead and select this light. Change it to like six. Location zero. Zero. So now we've got that. 